Hey everyone, so I got a new uh, stainless steel 3 8 shoe line today and put it in. It took about 20 minutes, it wasn't bad. You can tell the front end here, it's got a lot of short bends in it. And uh, I'm using these little stainless steel 3 8 clamps with uh, button head allens. I think they look pretty good. I started in this hole here and fished it this way uh, using the back and uh, got to about here, there's a web right here, you gotta, I just used a screwdriver and kind of pry it around until I got it to go through, but it wasn't bad. So, I'm also running uh, all new brake lines, as you can see. The brake system that was in this before was contaminated. If I remember correctly, my dad and I, uh, we got new calipers for the car, and they came with dot five fluid. During the bleeding process, we ran out and we could not find dot five anywhere. And I think somebody at one of the auto parts stores said that you can mix it with three and four. We didn't know any better, and we did. And uh, when I popped the master cylinder cap off, it was just nothing but rusty mud. So I'm not even going to chance using anything in that old brake system. Everything's getting replaced. Peace of mind is worth a lot, you know. Probably also going to have to add some clamps up here. I'm a little bit worried. You know, these are supposed to be bent like the originals, but during shipping and stuff, they can get messed up. And honestly, I think this one here is actually a little bit too long. So I'm going to have to add some extra clamps just to make sure I don't have any rubbing issues anywhere. I've also got some... Uh, more suspension stuff on the way. I still haven't installed my bushings and my control arms yet. I've been kind of reluctant to try that. I just worry that it could be a nightmare job. But I found out my old spindles were bad. I think uh, just years and years. Perhaps the race, the bearing race was rubbing on this or I don't know really but there's some big gouges in there. I mean your finger through it you'll get some splinters in your finger too. And they might still be good to use, and they could probably be fixed, but I decided it's not worth the chance. So what I've done is found out a lot of people will upgrade to C3 spindles, which are the 69 to 82 Corvettes. And they have a larger diameter spindle on them, uh, bigger bearings obviously, hubs are better, everything's a little bit better, more sturdy. And uh, better engineered but all the geometry is the same from what I understand even the bolt sizes in the ball joints so should be getting those within the next week or two and uh, hopefully I'll have the suspension on by the end of June the front suspension anyways then uh, the next project's going to be a bolt-on rack and pinion steering kit and then we'll start on the back and differential and uh, probably a mono spring in the back and we'll go from there after that. I'll probably be looking at engines and transmissions. But that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.